Hey, welcome back to the channel, everybody. This Family Ventures. I'm Brendan. I'm Gwen. And I'm get to hear it. <laughs> and we are at Epcot today, and we I feel didn't. Like we're always at Epcot. I know we are. We are always at Epcot, but um, today's Dapper Day at Epcot, and we didn't know. And you can see we are not dressed for the occasion. We are not dapper all, today. I, I, I honestly feel like you for here, for here, I think they need to do Dapper Day in cooler months. Yeah. Because there's no way. I just saw somebody dressed as Mary Poppins. Long That's sleeve, dedication. High collar. Like, yeah. I mean, it might be thin material, but it's hot. I mean, actually, it's, temperature wise, it's saying it's not that hot, but it's hot. Yeah. So we're going to go into Epcot. Uh, we do have some things. We're going to get on the Skyliner. We have to hit a couple of resorts and stuff like that. So we'll see you inside. So with this display, as every time I come in here, I notice how much fuller it is versus when we first would walk into the park. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, everything's definitely much fuller in bloom. Look at all these flowers. This is, and then it is dapper day, and we are not dapper. I was talking about how everything looks more full and and just filled in look how beautiful that looks with the flowers and the floating pods and then the flower bank over there and then just the, everything's everything's just full There's Bo and Woody with Gruff. I can never remember all their names. I can never remember their names. Oh yeah. So we are hopping on to the Skyliner to go over to, we need to go over to the Art of Animation and uh, Pop Century to uh, pick up a few things. And Gwen's already, yeah. You okay? Yeah. She's got her water, she's ready to go. So we're in the Skyliner, you can see me. <laughs> got your water. They said, that's how she feels. I feel better than Lauren. Really? Lauren doesn't like it at all, does she? We just took the Skyliner from Epcot to um, the Hub, and now we're at the Art of Animation. We got to pick up a few things here, but this is one of our favorite resorts. Just if you've ever stayed here, you would know. Um, just the theme in and everything, the different lands. It's just it's such a cool resort, and if you got kids and you come to Disney, like this is this is like the resort to stay at. So this is the little mermaid section. And just Oh, find an email. Oh I'm sorry. This is the find an email and just like the, the play pad for the kids. Just the theme in. You got all the fish on the and then you got a jumongous crush right there. And across the way is Ray, right? The stingray from the school. You just can't beat the theme in. I mean, all the other resorts are awesome. Just with the landscaping. Yeah, with the landscaping and everything. And just the, the little touches, you just see how massive Crush is. Yo, totally awesome, dude. And there's Dory.
So we're at the Art of Animation Resort, and uh, if anybody's ever seen our video on these, these are so cool. The Art of Animation ears, they actually change in the sun when they're exposed to sunlight. And they are... They are $44.99. Now I was just checking this out. Look at this Crush Spirit Jersey. Art of animation on the back, and the, I like the the blue and the and the white ombre kind of, and that's seventy nine ninety nine. That's cool. We're still in the gift shop for the art of animation, and I saw this shirt. And uh, look how cute that is. Now that that's kids, but um. They do have, uh, I would say this is the adult version, where it says Art of Animation. Oh, that's cool. I like that. And these are $34.99 and $34.99. So we're checking out at the Art of Animation, and they have, oh, come on, focus. You can do it. I know you can do it. There you go. Look at that pin. That is such a cute pin. And that is silver, which I believe is $11.99 or $14.99. But that is such a cute pin. Saw this magnet, too, for the Caribbean, uh, for Art of Animation. Uh, I does not like the focus. There you go. I thought that was really neat, and that is a magnet for $12.99. That is neat. And then this ornament. I thought this ornament was pretty cool, too. Like, look at that. You got Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian, Art of Animation. You got a, the ink tank. And it, oh, they're exploding out of the ink tank. Oh, that's cool. And that is $22.99. So we finished up at the Art of Animation. We got some, we got the things that we needed to get. Uh, we didn't really get, you know, we don't walk around and explore too much. We kind of get what we need to get. Walked around the gift shop a little bit just to see if there was something new. I did film a few things that I thought was really neat. But today, one of the reasons why, because one day I would like to go maybe explore a little more but um we're trying to beat the rain storms yeah yeah it's getting about that time of year where well we're, we've been going through it's supposed to rain at least every day but we've luckily been it's been at night storms. and we've been having some bad storms actually i just posted a short uh of lightning storm that was a little bit south of our house so um check that out but uh we are getting on the skyliner and we are Heading towards oh we're no we're walking over to Pop Century. We're not getting on the Skyliner yet. So we're heading over to Pop Century. We are at Pop Century and there's Baloo. Which I don't quite understand why Baloo is here. Because I think um, Jungle Book came out. In the, in the 60s, so uh, there's Mowgli. Yes, yeah, so I guess it was, uh, and then over on the other side is Play-Doh. Uh, we got a lot of, lot of horror stories about Play-Doh, but man, we had Play-Doh. So we are currently in Pop Century's gift shop, which if you ever get a chance, I know everybody that comes down here on vacation, you know, your time's precious, but exploring the resorts is always one of the things that I truly enjoy now, the opportunity to explore the resorts. You can check out, you know, you can find pins at some resorts that you can't find at World of Disney or um, pin traders at Disney. Sometimes you never know. Never know what you're going to find. Sometimes resorts have their hidden little gems. Oh, 
And that's one of the items we need to get. We are done at Pop Century. We just popped in there. We had to pick up a few things at the gift shop. I, I was like one or two items. We found something there. Um, and now we are off to, we're going back to Epcot and we got to go to the beach club. So this has kind of turned into a merch search uh, for requested items. Resort Day in the life. Yep, you know, resort hopping. Gotta One of these days we're going to have to resort hop and include some drinks and food <laughs> in that. I want some drinks. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to include some drinks next time we do some Why resort we hopping. Next time? Why can't do this? Well, we can do it this time. It's just I need something to eat before I start drinking. <laughs> I know, where are we going to eat? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We are heading towards uh, the beach club because we got to pick up a few things at the beach club. So we just got off the Skyliner from Epcot and we're over by where you catch the friendship boats. Um, and we are heading to beach club to pick up a few things in there. So the walkway to Epcot is just literally up there. And then once you come down here, these are all the Epcot resorts. That's what they're all kind of like. You got the monorail resorts and this is the beach club here. The gray buildings, that's the yacht club. You got um, Dolphin and Swan over there. You got the uh, the reserve. And then Boardwalk is all right here. And the beach club has that pirate ship that's actually a slide. And when we stayed here, we, we were doing the slide, which I gotta get the GoPro. I gotta get that thing. I gotta get a memory card for it. And, charge it and start using that thing again so we are at the beach club and they do have they're kind of famous for this at beaches and creams cream so they do have a mug with it how much is that mug the mug is $21.99 every day is Sunday so this is one of the things that we were requested to pick up and it's an ornament that's cute and that is $24.99 and they do also have a magnet every day is Sunday I could go for a Sunday $12.99 so we just stopped at down uh, we're in the beach club and we have this this little like the the blue market place fast service or it's not really a quick service is it I mean they, they only they have very select menu 
but right around the corner from it is this little hideaway. And you can, it definitely reminds, like, for us, it's like an old Jersey Shore kind of hotel. But, um, we just picked up some drinks. I got a parfait. I'm playing God, a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> Just to tie us over until we can find something more substantial to eat. It's Daisy. She's out. And looking good. We are back in Epcot after uh, stopping off, getting a little something at, uh, we need to pick up something at the beach club, and then we, we got some snacks to sustain us to find something to eat. So we're heading over to Italy to see if we can get in there, get something to eat. But, uh, Dapper. Dapper Day is is fun. I mean, I I feel bad that I haven't participated, but man, some of the people are really dressed up. It's nice. It's nice to see. They yeah, uh, we even saw um there was a group of ladies that their dog was even wearing a tuxedo, better dressed than me. Yeah, the, it was a Doberman. So with the ears and everything like that, it looked sharp with the tuxedo on. So um. Definitely have to participate. Yeah, next time. But but Gwen, like Gwen said at the beginning of the video, it'd be nicer if it was in the cooler months because it's it's warm today. So they they do have since it's Dapper Day, Dan. Dapper Day. They do have and I nothing's focusing. They have a bunch of different pins. I, I really like these. And these are all 12, not twelve dollars. But look at these. For flower and garden. They got some cute earrings. But they got a dapper, dapper day merch. And they they're, they got fans. Here and they got umbrellas. All, all to celebrate Dapper Dan, Dapper Day. I keep saying Dapper Dance. It's Dapper Day. We were just in the Odyssey building, which is that building right there, because we were trying to get something, but um, they don't have the Orange Bird Golden Book anymore. It's all sold out, so unfortunately we weren't able to pick that up. But what I did see was dappers. One was dressed as Tink with the ears. One was dressed as Peter Pan, and one was dressed as Captain Hook. And I thought that was so cool that they... It, but it wasn't like they were dapper dressed, but not in costume kind of thing. So it wasn't like... You know, you, you, yeah, like I saw the guy dressed as Captain Hook by himself, and I was like, oh, that's a, you know, that's a nice, he's dressed very nice. But then I realized that he was with the girl that was dressed as Tinkerbell and Peter Pan, and I was like, holy smokes, that's, that's not Batman, but that's Captain Hook. And I was like, wow, that, that's cool, that's a great idea. I love how people have that creativity. I, so, uh, yeah, yeah, I was talking to a, a lady, um, cause she was, we were standing waiting for something and there was a nice breeze going by and I was like, wow, that feels good. She goes, it does. I am sweating like you won't believe underneath of this dress. And, uh, she was wearing a thick, heavy dress and I had to give her props. See, it's dapper all over. I didn't show it, but I, I we ended up in uh, was it uh, Chef La France for lunch because I really was wanting uh, the onion, the French onion soup. It's it's usually the best on property, and then me and Gwen are, are splitting an entree just because the French onion soup really fills you up. So that so we. Um, we left it where we were eating at uh, Chef La France. Oh, La France. And um, that wasn't very good. That's the first time I've ever that, had a bad meal. Yeah, that, was, uh, that wasn't very good. Um, 
I was really looking forward to the French onion soup. And uh, I really, if I could get away with just getting the French onion soup, that probably would have been enough. But, uh, we could, uh, yeah, I guess we could. Thing we have. Yeah. But um, the French onion soup was... It was very brilliant. Yeah, very watered it, down. Yeah, it like usually has dark broth beef, you know? And um, it was light and had no... Not even much of an onion flavor. No. I mean, the cheese was good, but it it, it wasn't that it wasn't the French onion. The French that, onion soup. That's the onion, yeah. French onion soup on the property. property. Right now, after that, I'd say the Grand Floridian Cafe. Yeah. That's the best. Yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah. And then we split the filet beef and tenderloin. And yeah, it's and and the meat, like, like, the meat. This I mean, it was cooked really good. It was cooked exactly like I ordered it, but um, uh, yeah. It, I mean, and the potatoes that came with it weren't very good. Even the green beans. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That was not a very enjoyable meal for as much as we spent on it. And then my French martini. That was yeah, that that was the only thing good about the meal was the French fart <laughs> martini. Got, yeah, got, we should have. Do they even have like, a bar? They don't have a bar in there, do they? No. I mean, they have a bar, but they don't have like a bar that you can go up. I don't and think so. Sit down. Because I think that's why that other area always had such a long line. But I don't think they don't sell the French martini yet. Uh huh. So we did get some things. We stopped into Creations on the way out. Um, to pick up a few more items, requested items. So we got a couple, couple goodies. Thank you for everybody who supports us. Thank we appreciate so it. And uh, we did some resort hopping, some definitely uh, back and forth to Epcot. Brandon and finally uh, got did the galaxies. Yeah, I did the virtual well, he, queue, he got but, it, but he's not hanging around to do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to be in the, like another two hours. So. Um, we're gonna call it uh it's starting to spit too. yeah we're gonna call it a day and we're gonna have hamburgers and hot dogs for for dinner at home so i was actually looking forward to that because i haven't cooked out in so long you might not be able to no i know hmm? i still might anyway you don't have to do it it's inside yeah. <laughs> in our in our lanai that's oh we had a bird we had a bird in our lanai today because all our yeah, our screen, a couple of our screens blew out from a windstorm or a rainstorm that we had a couple days ago. I mean, we were lucky we didn't get the hail. Yeah, there was nasty hail if you saw it on the would news. Have, would have been. There was some nasty hail in our area. Because we've dealt with, we had a really bad hail storm in Delaware, and my old car had some massive. Yeah. Well had dents all over from the hill so on that note <laughs> thanks so much oh, for watching no, please like and subscribe and we'll, we'll see you in the, the next, next one bye, bye.